morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today, uh, we're just going on a wee solo hike. And we're going to start talking about why to hike. Four or five reasons about getting yourself outdoors and taking yourself into the mountains. So let's go. We'll talk more about the trail on the way up. But it's a lovely morning. I'll we'll get going now. So number one reason to go hiking for myself, uh, fitness. I do a lot of road running and stuff. Used to play football, gave it up obviously, due to age and stuff. Uh, so I'd run the roads two or three times a week, but get yourself out hiking. I, my mental sort of thing would be, if I go for a six mile hike, then I could maybe push on for an eight mile run. I normally would do 10 k's, which is six mile, no problem, but there's that sort of mental block when you do it. But when you do a couple of hikes, you get the males in the legs, you sort of can push on that wee bit further in the running. Uh, I could join a gym, but gyms aren't for me. Uh, I could do walking, I do a lot of walking as well, just round the towns. But number one with fitness for me, So reason number two, affordability. I said in the last bit there uh, about joining gyms and stuff, it could cost you probably anything between 30 pound to 40, 45 pound a month. And realistically, do you use it much? Hiking's free. I'm in a pair of trainers, shorts, t-shirt. And I'm on the trails already today. You join a golf club as well. You get six, seven million, but again, you're talking a couple of hundred pound a year probably for a golf club. Oh really, would you get any views like this? Down into the sea. Bit of fresh air around the face as well. And the heart rate's going. Talk about that trail. We're only a mile in and straight from the harbour. It's been a climb. It's a 5k walk, which is basically three mile. So we're third in. Come by the all trails, it's a moderate walk. I think it does, I think it's it's the only climb, and then it level out behind the forest and then drop down into Donard Forest and come back down the roadside. But that was a slog and as you can see, the sun's out and it's a crack in the morning. Thankfully I brought my water. Great views down into the Irish Sea. Uh, I'm trying to work out if that's Murdoch Beach or is it Dundrum Bay? I'm not actually too sure. But I'll stop here for a drink of water and we'll kick on.
Yes, this is mighty. I think there should be more of these, maybe. Little trig point. So we've Castle Well, four and a half mil. Sleeve Crew, 10 mil. Scrabble Tower, 28 mil. Dundrum Bay, which we were looking at, 4 mil. Strangford Lock, can be 16 mil. Mull of Galloway, 60 mil. St John's Point, 10 miles. Early Man, 46 mil. Yes. But I love that there stuff. Granite Trail on a clear, clear day, you might see a holly blue butterfly as well. Brilliant. I don't think there's any better place on the Granite Trail to talk about number three. The third reason why the hike. I got a notification on my phone a few weeks back, a few months back probably. I'm probably pretty sure everybody gets it uh, about screen time. And it was something ridiculous, like eight, eight hours a day or something, which is a third of the day spent on my mobile, scrolling, and then all our devices on top of that there. You come out here on a Friday, Friday night for a camp or Saturday for a hike, you can spend six or seven hours just wandering about, getting a wee micro adventure yourself. And I probably contradict me, I've got a GoPro, I've got a drone here with me, electronics, but I like to stay off it as much as possible. So that's number three, just to lessen the screen time on my phone. Back to the trail itself, uh, all trails are the same going down here, but there is a, a quarry up here and there is a wee track, which I think will follow around and rejoin the granite trail. So I want to sort of go up here, see the quarry, where I've obviously quarried the stone and the little train line, which the where the shabby hut was on the wee boogies down to the, the harbour, which the granite trail is all about really. Wow, what a size, what a size of a quarry. Sort of reminds me of the one down at Bloody Bridge when you're coming up towards the, the Bog of Donner direction. Behind it is Thomas's Mountain and then Millstone. I hope I've said them right because as you can see, I'm out my own today and the Sherpa's not here to keep me right, as he puts it, so. Back on the correct trail, which now lead into sort of the mid section of Donard Forest. And that'll be the back of this trail done. Okay, reason number four uh, test yourself against the elements. I said at the start, I played football years ago. I loved playing football in the rain and the wind when it was battering off your face and stuff. It's the same up here when you're out in the open and the rain's coming down and the wind is in your face, it's coming over the wall or something and then you get to that cairn and you get the views. It's well worth it. But touching that there, I'm not saying go out in stormy weather. We don't. We watch the weather. If it's in rain we'll go out like but if it's given yellow or red well I warnings but don't bother with it so it's just nice to get out in all conditions even today the sun's beating down lovely day got views down into Newcastle and over the the harbour and stuff which is brilliant just to go back to leaving last week when we pitched the tent or was in fact two weeks ago we got the tents pitched and then the, the rain came over and I could actually hear Stephen shouting in his tent he was delighted just to get it done. And then about a year, maybe a year and a half ago, we done Sleeve Comeda. 
and strong enough winds. Probably dangerous and stupid in our path. But like I let out a yelp when we got it at the top because we've done it. And it's just that sort of sense that we've done something. So the final one, number five, I had four, the first four of my, my own reasons, uh, but I couldn't end it in four, it had to be five, three or five reasons, so I've done a wee bit of search, researching online. Brain fitness, now I'm going to read this off as health clinic thing because I've done a lot of hiking and I don't feel any <laughs> brain improvements, but supposedly it does, so Regular exercise supports the health of your blood vessels roughly through 20, 15 to 20% of blood pumped by your heart goes to your brain even though your brain takes up only 2 to 3% of your body mass. Working out also prevents the loss of total brain volume that happens with, the, with age after 40. Me. We lose 1% of brain matter and it also helps against the fight against Alzheimer's disease. So number five is a pretty serious one, I would probably say, obviously. So you gotta take it serious as well, your fitness. And it does help to get out. So that's number five. We'll finish this trail off. Just down through the forest there. Talk about brain power. I brought you out to do a video about why to hike and stuff, and I've brought you to probably the not the least favourite ending to any hike in the mornings. Don't forget the brain power really kicked in yet for me. But I'm just going to follow this path. I think basically it just takes you back to the, the first granite trail scene, and then you follow back down again. I'm not really sure, but we'll see what happens here. That's a granite trail in the bag. This one's been on the list for a couple of months now. Gumby all trails is moderate, I'd put it down. It's easy to moderate maybe. Time, one hour, 53 minutes. Distance, 3.38 mile. Elevation gain, 8, 847 feet. There's nothing really uh, challenging really about it, apart from the start to start. First mile. It was crazy, but after that there, you come around the back of the forest, on the flat, and then drop down through the forest itself, like a touch there a minute ago. <laughs> Not my favourite part of the walk, or any walk, but brings you down back into Newcastle. I'm not too sure if you heard any bagpipes there in the distance. There must be some sort of competition on in the uh, Donard car park. So, that's Saturday done. Thanks for coming along. And if you're new here, like I always say, Cheers. If you're a returning viewer, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Uh, just hit the like and subscribe maybe and you'll get notifications every week. So I'll just leave you with a view of Newcastle Harbour. I'll see you all next week.